Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for May the 7th through May the 13th. Um, excuse me, I'm very hot and I can't put my AC on because it's too loud. It would just make too much noise. Um, so I'm going to just have to be hot. Listen, if you're new to uh, my readings, welcome. I really hope that you stick around to the end because I've got a very special uh, gift for everyone at the end. It's kind of cool. So um, stick around to the end. Um, this is a general reading, guys. Um, oh, and also, sorry, I'm so sorry. If you're returning, I love you. Thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you guys. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't already. Um, this is a general reading, guys. So um, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Keep it moving. If it's not for you this week, if you know maybe part of the reading will resonate with you and some of it won't. Um, take what you can and leave the rest and please come back um, and check out because maybe the reading will be for you next time. Um, you know, listen, I ha I am on instant go um, and the link is below. You can ask me questions 24 hours a day, darling. I'm there. Um, so check me out on Instago. It's a fabulous app. I think a lot of YouTubers have it. You can just download the app for free from the um, app store. And um, I think, I don't know if Android has it yet, but I know they will soon if they don't. Um, this is for your sun, moon and rising. If you know your moon, moon and rising, uh, that information will be below. I'm also on Patreon. I have a Patreon page and there's links to that below. Check that out. You know, I do all kinds of uh, posts there just for patrons. It's, you know, it's interesting. Anyway, without further ado, let me go into the uh, astrological report for this week. And... Um, Mercury on the 6th and 7th, so you probably feel it on Sunday. I'm just recording this on uh, Friday night, actually. It is right now. Um, so the 6th and the 7th, you'll feel it on the 6th, but I think it moves in on the 7th. Mercury moves into a challenging aspect to Pluto. Um, this is about power control, right? Because Mercury is the planet of intellect, of the mind, thinking, um, communication and um, Pluto is uh, the planet of deep spirituality and um, the underworld things coming up. So we might, um, this is about power and control. So we might have some issues. It's just for a couple of days. It's not a very um, long transit. So we might have some issues in relationships um, for those couple of days. So, you know, it's going to be, it could be a power battle. And then, um, at the same time, Venus challenges Neptune, Venus, the planet, planet of love and finances and Neptune, you know, dreamy, ethereal, and, you know, um, also spiritual. Um, but can be deceitful. <laughs> So we might have some challenges um, fin financially there. Um, now on the 12th, Mercury is connecting with Uranus. Now, uh, Mercury, as I said before, it's the planet of communication, of the mental realm, of intellect. And uh, Uranus is the planet of sudden happening, surprises, sometimes shocking, um, you know, events happening out of the blue. It's a rebel, it's a rebel planet. So this could mean that we would have, we can have some issues um, communicating with people. We might say things, blurt things out without thinking. So it's really a good idea to, to be aware of that and try to breathe before, you know, before you say it. Don't go straight from thought to mouth, you know? It's it's going to be challenging. Um, now, on the 13th, Mercury moves into Taurus, which is a much better place for Mercury, and it's more grounded and more, you know, slower and more deliberate. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I know we finish 
right, on the 13th, but I have to mention the new moon because although I'm going to, I'll go into more depth um, next week, but the new moon in Taurus, right, is like the, mu okay, the new, uh, the, so much is happening around the same time. That's why I really want to mention this. So the new moon uh, moves into Taurus. Now, the moon is in its exaltation in uh, exaltation in Taurus. It loves Taurus. It's nurturing. It's time to, you know, whatever seeds we've planted, it's time to nurture them and allow them to grow. This is a beautiful, beautiful new moon. It's gorgeous. Um, now, around the same time or the day after, Uranus moves into Taurus. Now, this is huge. Uh, Uranus has like 84 year elliptical cycle, right? And during those 84 years, it goes into each sign. So it's roughly, it's approximately in each sign for seven years. So it's been in Aries and it's going into Taurus. Now Uranus is that sudden happenings, it's revolutionary, it's eruptions, it's lightning, right? That's what it is. And Taurus is grounded, so it's not going to be that happy in Taurus. Or, you know, it means that, because Taurus is about the planet, about Earth, some something major could happen globally during that time. So it's been in uh, Aries, which is a cardinal sign. It really liked being in Aries, right? It could start things, it could, you know, uh, erupt and sudden changes and it's it's been difficult for people with this um, with Uranus and Aries however now it's going into Taurus and it's not so happy in Taurus because it's more grounded and it's pulled down right so this is about ground this is about global this is about the planet um, now it hasn't the last time it moved into Taurus, it was in Taurus from 1934 to 1941. Turbulent times, right? This could be, we, something huge could happen mid-month um, or the next few years, <laughs> something major is happening. Now, Mars is moving around the same time too. Mars is moving out of Capricorn and it moves into a Aquarius. Now, Mars has loved Capricorn. It's really enjoyed Capricorn, right? It's It's been able to start things and finish things, right? Now, Mars is the planet of war, don't forget. And it, and it, you know, and the spark, it starts things, right? It's about action. It's about going forward, but it, normally it can't finish things, but in Capricorn, it could. Well, now it's moving into Aquarius. Darling, it's like, it, 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 it's going to be, it's, it's going to be all over the place. It's not going to be happy in Aquarius. Um, so, you know, Aquarius is air and Mars is fire and there could be explosions and eruptions. <laughs> so be prepared. Normally I wouldn't mention, I'll go into more detail about them, about those, those aspects next week, because really it is in next week, but I couldn't not mention it because I think we should be prepared um, for this huge shift in en energy. It's major, it's gonna be major. Good for some always and not good for others. Um, so without further ado, let's go to your card, shall we? Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading for May the 7th through May the 13th and I want to say happy birthday to my wonderful son. It's his birthday on the 7th. His name's Aiden. I don't know if he'll watch it, but I just want to wish him a wonderful birthday. He's such a lovely, he's such a lovely boy, although he's a man now, because <laughs> I'm a grandmother. <laughs> he'll always be my little boy. Um, once again, happy birthday to my sister, Margaret to um, Alison, who else? My son's father, Carlos, happy birthday. And anyone else? My father, my father's birthday was on the 2nd of May and rest in peace. He would have, I don't know, he probably would have been about 90 something, right? I don't know, my mom's 89, he was six years, he would have been 95. Wow, <gasps> scary. Um, so, 
Uh, that being said, I want to thank all my patrons. I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking care of me, supporting me and loving me. And don't forget, guys, I'm on Instant Go. Check me out there if you want to just a quick, you know, if you have a question or something, it's a good way to, you know, to ask. Anyway, uh, let me go to your first card. And the first card... It's one of my favorite cards, darling. I have a feeling you got this last month, last week. It's the Empress. You see her? You've got her twice. You got her at the beginning of the reading and at the end of the reading. Anyway, the Empress is this wonderful, look, she's just, she's the queen of queens. She has all this confidence. She's pregnant with ideas. She's just, has all this magic manifesting energy around her this is a wonderful card and very creative and and really this week is an opportunity to be really creative so if you like to draw or something or if you like to whatever it is that you like to do creatively um this is a really auspicious time to do it and you have two cards clarifying the uh, empress one is the three of earth which is celebration right and the other one is the five of water which is asking you this is a card where you can be focused on something that's not gone well for you you're you're kind of in regret something didn't turn out the way it was supposed to turn out and you're focusing on that um so when this card comes up, it's saying, look, things may not have gone according to your plan and they may not have worked out in the way you wanted them to work out. Um, but understand that when you, when, you know, the law of attraction is that when you're focusing on what hasn't worked and what you can't have and you're in that energy of regret, you're blocking you're blocking this wonderful gift of creation, creative energy and uh, manifestation and abundance, right? And these brilliant ideas coming to you because you are focused on what hasn't gone right for you. So right next to it is the three of earth. Oh, I, it's so funny. I thought it was the three of water, but it's the three of earth. And the three of earth is about teamwork right that's so funny because you've got the the empress is a three right you've got the three two threes and a five focus on what is working because i have a feeling that um this is look threes are about creativity definitely about creativity two People create a child, right? They create something wonderful, a new life. This is about, this is about create, this is focusing on creative um, endeavors this week. Now, it may be your business could be about creating something. Um, maybe you could, maybe you're starting a project that's very creative. This is an opportune time to do this. I'm really seeing that actually on your cards, Taurus. So whatever you're involved in creatively, do it. Now is the perfect time. Um, now, the next card you've got is the uh, Queen of Wands, and I love her. And she's about confidence. She is about building confidence and self-esteem. She is the epitome of confidence. She has all this confidence. She's got it all. She's the businesswoman. She's got a family. She's a wonderful wife, a hostess, um, a mother. She's, got, she's one of these people that can do it all. And she is, an, she's kind of on an even kill. She's also very creative and passionate, right? So it's about tapping into your creativity and your passion i feel that some of you are if you focus on cre creating something this week you will really be co-creating with the energies at large so i think it's very important to get involved in something creative i really do even if it's teamwork if it's a group of people perhaps at work something do something creative this week it's definitely um at the forefront 
Now, there's one thing I'll say about her too, is that she has, it takes a lot to get her angry. But when she does, she explodes. And with the astrological um, aspects and transits this week, going into next week, um, I would really say balance your emotions. I am definitely getting, definitely balance your emotions this week, Taurus. It's very important. You've got the 10 of air uh, clarifying this, which means that there's an end, there's been a, an end to a difficult time. I feel that you've been through a difficult time and this is definitely saying that that is coming to an end. Um, and so this difficult time is coming to an end and it's time to move on. It's time to start afresh. I feel, I don't even have to tell you to move on because it's like you're done with it. There's a situation, it could be a situation, it could be a job, it could be a person, it could be, it could be a business, it could be something as simple as a, something like a car or something. You're letting something go. Something that's caused you much angst. It could even be a relationship for some of you. This this has been causing you angst and you're letting it go. And you're moving on. And it's a good, this is great. This is like letting things go and starting afresh. New energies are coming in for you this week, for all of us, darling. You are definitely going to feel, first of all, you're going to feel great because you've got the moon in your sign and Uranus is going to come into your sign too. So you have to kind of look at where Uranus is on your chart, um, on your natal chart to see how it's going to affect you. Now, look, you have the seven of wands. Choose your battles wisely, darling. Choose your battles. And when you do have any kind kind of conflict, come from a higher perspective. Don't lash out. Don't uh, insult someone. Be careful verbally in communication. Definitely be careful with your communication. We all have to be this week. If you saw the astrological report, we all have to be very careful with our communications. We could say things that we uh, can't take back. And, um, oh gosh, I'm so, little fan, feels good. Okay, now, clarifying that is the Empress. It's about getting creative, right? It's about being creative, yet create. I'm going to say creativity is the word of the week for you, Taurus. You have to get involved in something creative and get involved with a group of people even. So come up with an idea or so. I feel that, look, the Empress is about ideas. You know, she's about manifesting ideas. So, you know, this new moon coming up in Taurus is a perfect time for intentions. So planning something creative this week would be ideal. And I'm just, you know, because it's Taurus again, I'm going to go with these wonderful um, fairy forest cards. I love them. Um, I'm just really feeling them this, <laughs> this week. I'm really, I've been using them for the daily tarot. I just love the messages in it. So let's see what wonderful messages and blessings we can give to Taurus. Uh, for this coming week, please give wonderful Taurus this beautiful message and guidance for this coming week. Thank you. Oh, I just learned a bridge shuffle this week. I've been practicing. Wonderful messages do we have for Taurus this week? Taurus. Oh, oh, I thought that was it. Oh, there it is. Oh, shapeshifter. This is really fascinating. Oh, wow. Look at it. This is beautiful. It's very, this is very wise. Look at that. She looks like an owl. 
these cards are so beautiful. Um, so the shapeshifter, this is about, I'm going to read it right now. So hang on, let me get my glasses. Where are my glasses? Found my glasses. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. The shapeshifter. You are able to change, my friend, all the things that have stirred within you, things that you have not even dared to whisper aloud, will soon become clear to others. Um, because you are transforming, do not let the fear of being different stop you from this moment. This miracle, when the instinctual true self becomes manifest, you can do what you think is unlike you. You have told yourself again and again who you are and many a time you have merely gone ahead with what feels comfortable for you without daring yourself to truly be who you are. This message for you is to get ready to change. Get ready to be amazed at just what you can do when you give yourself a chance. At what you can become when you receive the same opportunities as others. But most importantly, what you can achieve when you dare yourself to go further. The story of your soul is so much more than you have allowed it to be. And within you are so many more possibilities. Do not deny yourself this chance to develop and grow. You are so many creatures, so many beings. Now it is time to explore that which once frightened you and which will ultimately become one of your greatest adventures yet. That's really exciting. Wow, I'm so excited for you. That's major changes and I feel that possibilities and you're going to have the opportunities that you so deserve. I feel that they're coming to you. Um, Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, what I want to do for you is I want to give you uh, your personal message from the angels. So please take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it at the top. One, two, three, four, and slowly exhale through your mouth. And think of a number between zero and nine, 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 including those numbers. And the first number you think of Write that in a comment below and I will give you the uh, correlating uh, meaning for it. Your own personal message, Taurus. I love you so much. Please don't forget to like this video, to share it on your social media, to comment, of course. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Check out all the information below and... Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. To inquire about or purchase any of Mary's services, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.